Hello, Namir. How are you? Very well, Namir. Very well. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. Finally, uh, I was excited for this uh, this interview, and uh, thank you for being a supporter of our, our summit. You know, we are a fintech nation summit, and uh, the UAE is uh, like it's, it's so interesting. And 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 first, before we dive into the the, the, the ecosystem, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, so, well, I'm Amir Khan. I'm the chairman of the Mina Fintech Association. Uh, so what we do as uh, the association, we closely work in close collaboration with the regional regulators and most importantly, the fintechs. So when I say the regional regulators and the fintechs and also not, not to forget uh, the, the existing uh, financial services players. So we bridge the gap in, in terms of basically, uh, in terms of policy making, in terms of uh, basically ensuring we have the right frameworks in place to ensure that the entire uh, fintech environment in the overall region is conducive for growth, uh, conducive for investments, and most importantly, conducive for innovation. So uh, that's what we're currently doing, but we're not limited to engagement in between these three core parties. An ecosystem certainly engages and involves uh, multiple other stakeholders and multiple other verticals, which includes academia, um, you have uh, journalists, you have uh, students, you have much more uh, basically in a broader ecosystem, which is the MENA Fintech Association is currently, uh, you know, uh, bringing together and already brought together, but furthermore bringing together by having uh, not just regional, but international, uh, you know, players like yourselves as well to be a part of the broader ecosystem that we have. So you are the, the platform, the hub. Oh, well, uh, I think the hub would be, uh, when I say a hub, a hub, the best example of a hub would be the, the, the regional hubs that we have in the region. I think we, we are enablers, we are facilitators who enable uh, the hubs uh, to do basically and complement what they're currently doing. So yes. How can you help these fintechs uh, from the region or others uh, like me or others from all around the world who are watching you? How can they connect to your ecosystem? How, where do they attend? How do they do the, the business? How does it work? There's a lot happening already in the region over here and the region is only kicking off more and more and getting really attractive as we speak, right? So uh, I would recommend the FinTechs who are basically out there from all over the world who would like to expand into the region is to first identify the country that they would like to look into and the number one, uh, once they look into the country, the next thing that they need to do is to look into the opportunity that they have. Uh, in that specific country. And thirdly, uh, you know, the best way is these days to uh, know more about a country and to engage with the country specific folks and people over there is to ensure that you have uh, engagement in terms of the events that are currently happening in those specific um, countries, right? So be a part of that, be a part of the conversation because uh, those events, those those flagship events are only done to, to represent the country itself. So you know, be a part of that. Most importantly, the other key players and stakeholders in, um, you know, in, in the country that are also facilitating independently international fintechs to be expanding into the region. So uh, be a part of uh, their conversation as well and, and, and integrate themselves as well in some form and some way. Mostly there's so many uh, regional countries, uh, sorry, regional companies who are basically doing a lot of work when we're talking about uh, fintech development, right? So they're plugging in a lot of fintech solutions from international, uh, uh, you know, international, uh, you know, countries that that the fintech should be from different parts of the world. Or hey, you see those collaborations happening with our local banks and our our, our regional banks and our regional insurance and our regional financial services players. So. There are plenty of opportunities uh, to engage and certainly uh, we enable that as well. And once uh, we do have a serious FinTech who is looking to seriously expand into the region, then we certainly enable that uh, as well. Amazing. Um, tell me a little bit, you mentioned banks in the region. How innovative are the banks? Uh, are there are uh, neo banks, as we say, or other FinTech players are driving more innovation into, what's the current situation? Uh, Let's say, I don't know, let's say in Dubai, you know what? Uh, yeah. So let's, let's talk about UAE in larger perspective. Yeah. Right? Uh, and I'll talk about the region itself, right? The regional opportunity, 450 million people in the region. 
with an average median age of 26, right? Uh, one of the largest smartphone penetrations and uh, at the same time, um, the overall mobile phone penetration, which includes uh, the, uh, the, the, the analog phones is like around 106%, right? Smartphone stands at 76%, right? You at the same time have one of the highest GDPs in the, uh, you know, regionally as well, right? So, and then at the same time, highest consumption of internet, yet we are looking at a financial inclusion ratio of around 15% for the region. That basically indicates the large opportunity that you have in the region, which I think is completely still on tap. Uh, more so in terms of the banks, how innovative they are. See, we have seen a major transformation when it comes when it when it when we talk, when we're speaking about the banks and banks over here are no different than you have seen in different parts of the world. There is reluctance initially, but now you do see banks working in collaboration or integrating with fintechs. But see, the troubles they are evident in every single country in every single region where you do have. Uh, you know, environment, but the products are not able to go live. So that is something very internal, but externally, the banks have been very uh, progressive. The banks uh, have been setting up their digital wings, which includes digital banking arms that have been doing substantially well. You have Live Bank over here in, in UAE. Um, uh, Jayesh is basically leading it, doing a fantastic job in terms of where the bank is standing right now. I mean, one of the largest banks in terms of acquisition and the, and the customers that they have. So that's a prime example of how ready the customers are over here and at the same time how the banks and also the um, fintechs are heading towards that close collaboration. Open banking or stuff like that what we hear in, in other countries. Uh, I mean, here in Israel, it's just getting started. But, uh, you know, we interviewed the, here in the summit. You know, we have the UK, of course, and then Australia. Uh, what is the current or are, are there talks about open banks with APIs? Yes, there is uh, a lot of stuff happening on open banking. We have uh, international players coming into the country as well. Uh, uh, the regulators are forming up uh, a regional framework as well. So uh, these conversations are in place. And uh, I mean, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, fintechs that we have over here, we have uh, DAPI, we have Tarabut Gateway, we have Codebase, and these are like leading fintechs over here that are doing a fantastic job in terms of uh, enabling the overall open banking ecosystem. And, and now during COVID, you see, uh, I mean, how do people open accounts there? They do it uh, onboarding digitally or from, from a phone or with KYC? Digital onboarding, digital onboarding and digital KYC is certainly something that is happening. You have UAE Pass as well, which is a, a, a nationwide uh, platform that enables KYC, have, you know, that enables KYC too. At the same time, uh, you have all these digital banks coming in. And of course, um, manual KYC is not, an option anymore because uh, you know I think that that kind of serves a purpose right so I mean it's not an option anymore um, and all the banks are mainly focused towards uh, digital onboarding digital KYC and uh, there's, there's been huge progress in that space over here amazing um, I, of course I have, I have so many uh, questions for you but uh, as, as someone who comes from from Israel I have to mention uh, of course uh, the piece and, and now I'm seeing that the first delegations who are flying to the region are the banks and, and the fintechs. Uh, what do you think that they're looking uh, to do? Like, what, what is the opportunity uh, here? Oh, did you hear about any banks coming? I mean, I've, I've seen the news that every day I read another article about a bank uh, flying to Dubai and, and forming these relationships. Nir, it's all about uh, the... Uh the trade in terms of technology, right? So the technology trade is, uh, is happening. So, uh, I mean, there's, there's a use case. You have a good tech base, you have good technology solutions back um, in the country. And uh, when there's a use case that is understood by those who need to integrate such as banks, then I think it, it's, it's, uh, it's a no brainer in terms of collaboration. So, for example, uh, I don't know, even, you know, cyber services, protection, all kinds of services, right, that can serve these banks. Correct. 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 I mean, like I said, as long as the tech is good, um, has a strong use case, has been proven successful in terms of implementation, then um, any bank would actually would want to jump onto it. Yes. 
before we finish, other markets that you're looking at, uh, maybe other regions, other opportunities that you're seeing out there, because we are a global fintech nations. Um, you know, we, we have all the fintech nations here. Any international market that I'm looking towards, is that your question? Yeah. You See, I would, I, I would say MENA, nothing else. This is the only market that I would look into is MENA and MENA. Uh, not that I'm from MENA itself. Uh, MENA because of the opportunity. Opportunity that is, it's, it's, a, it's a billion dollar market for every single vertical, right? It's not like the North American region. It's not like the EU right where there is some level of saturation huge competition and already financial uh, inclusion and, and, and insurance penetration is at a high over here it's on the flip the audience's audience median age is low craving and adoption for digital is severely high right platforms kick off over here very quick because people are responsive to digital platforms it takes a dearth when we're talking about financial services innovation, and that's where the gap comes in. So you have a fantastic market opportunity. And why, why would you look elsewhere when you have so much to basically offer and so much to cater and serve, uh, you know, uh, within the region itself? So yeah. we are large population. Um, we are a very adaptive population. We love innovation. We love more frictionless journeys in every single vertical. And I think as a consumer, I welcome it. And I'm sure that um, the entire region is basically, and I, I don't say this, I, I would rather recommend anyone to validate what I'm saying is to pick up the research, uh, pick up the stats of the region itself that I've just mentioned myself as well. And you will be able to identify a fantastic opportunity, a market opportunity like no other. Amazing. How do people uh, reach to you and your activities? Like, uh, where do they follow you? How can they- I could be reached on LinkedIn, of course. That's the best way. Uh, usually I'm not responsive because of many, many messages, but uh, what we can certainly do, please do reach out to me uh, at the same time. Write to me as well if you want to. I have an email address mentioned in my on my LinkedIn as well. Um, otherwise, quite responsive. When I see something, I respond back instantly and uh, happy to be basically facilitate and, and help and enable any of those uh, strong fintech players or emerging fintech players to basically scale up in the region, certainly. So LinkedIn is the best way. If not, then I'm sure Nir is a person that I could be reached out by. <laughs> and, and of course, uh, I mean, uh, your website has information also about events, right? And right. We have many events happening. We have a few conversations that will be happening. We do webinars in collaboration with uh, many players. We're doing a lot of reports as well. We do a lot of technical work. So uh, Mina Fintech Association is doing a lot of technical work. Um, so we committee uh, and community engagements are great. It's fantastic. But most importantly, we believe in substance and substance comes in with technical uh, work that happens on ground um, to ensure that the frameworks and policy making um, and we enable all of that, yes. So we basically are able to put the voice across of the Fintechs to ensure that uh, uh, what we're saying is, is is also communicated. Amazing! I think it really it's, it serves the need, and the, the 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 people here are seeking to learn more about the region and and wants us to look at the data, as you mentioned, and see uh, where where is the potential. You know, uh, there's so much potential over there, and that was the purpose of of this uh, interview with you is basically to open up the eyes of people to what's going on there, um, and and of course. Uh, Everybody feel free to, to reach and, and read more. And um, I can't wait to visit personally, like many other you people. You're always welcome. Uh, I think we would like to welcome you uh, and, and, and feel free to join us uh, whenever the restrictions uh, on the travel in terms of the COVID are through. Uh, please feel free. Uh, and yes, look forward to having you here as well. And you, we will host you here. We also love to host here in our little country. And uh, of course, uh, I, I'm saying this personally, I would love to take you to all the fintechs, the, you know, the, the global players, corporates here in Israel. And uh, we are very, very excited about that. So this is like a warm invitation and a real invitation uh, to, to open up uh, the opportunities of this country for you. And of course, other countries who are uh, listening to us and, uh, and I'm sure they would love to connect with you. 
So uh, fantastic, thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Likewise, Nir, thank you very, very much for your time. Thank you very much, and wishing you all all the best with all the endeavor that you do and success in everything you basically kick off. Amazing. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thank you.